good morning. We're up really early, it's quarter to six in the morning and we're up and ready to leave. Why are we up so early? <laughs> we're up so early because we need to get a train to Kyoto. It's about a two and a half hour journey to Kyoto and we have to get on the metro and then get a train and check out. So we just want it to be up and ready so we're not rushing around. minutes early. That's good, we can get on it. So we're on the Nozomi train. It's the fastest train here to take you. It's the fastest train here to take you to Kyoto. It's cool as well, we've got loads of leg room. Check out all this, all this space. So much room for activities here. Yep. And your seat goes back really far. It's cool, I think I'm going to enjoy this journey. My husband's downloaded this app on his phone which tells you how fast the train is going and at the moment it's doing 59 miles per hour. He wanted me to tell you that. It's like a little cafe market area made with benches and little milk crates or bottle crates. So I think that's why all the schools are here, because they're learning. We've just got two tickets here to go into the, the temple shrine. They were 800 yen, 400 each. So the temple's actually been, is under reconstruction at the moment. As you can see all the bamboo scaffolding holding it up here. So we're just having all 
look around and these Japanese primary school children came up to me and asked if they could have a chat with me so they could practice their English. And so one of the girls, it was mainly one and there was a group of them surrounding her and she was saying what her name was, where she was from, how long I'd been in Kyoto for, um, stuff like that, general things. So I answered our questions and said that I was on my honeymoon, um, which she didn't quite get until I showed her the ring. So that was cool. And then they asked me to write in their school book. So I just wrote what my name was, where I was from, and why I was here. And they asked me to write something about Japan. So I just told them that I was enjoying Kyoto, but it was the first day here and I'm looking forward to going to the bamboo forest tomorrow. So it was pretty cool. And then they had their picture taken with me and Aaron took one as well, so we'll show you. So it was nice to have a wee chat with them and help them along with their English. Doing better than me with languages. Just coming to try some Japanese sweets. This it's like a it feels like pastry. This is strawberry. They're all very different. This is quite nice. So after actually trying it, it wasn't lemony, it was more green tea, cold green tea. Not my thing, not Michelle's thing either. She threw up everywhere. But um, yeah, we're just going to walk down and get some lunch now. <laughs> So Adam's gone with ramen. Does it have egg in it this time? No, this one doesn't have an egg in it. It's more soupy this one. And I've gone with fried rice, egg drop soup. So that seems interesting. Egg in the soup, I think. And some chicken, some fried chicken. to visit the Dejuji temple. Okay, so we've gone up to pay and she told us that the area that we want to see is actually closed because of the typhoon that happened not long ago. So I'm gutted. We've come 30 minutes out here to be told that we can go in and see it. Never mind, we'll go and look for something else to do. Okay, so we are finally checked in to our hotel in Kyoto. It's pouring down with rain outside, we got lost in the train station, but we are here and this is our room. So first of all, to the bathroom. Ooh. Nice, plain and simple. Pretty cool. And one of these again, a toilet with loads of buttons. And this is our room. Adam's already tucked into some crisps. Mmm. Bed, we bathrobes. I don't know if they have these at home. But TV. These are, these are pizza flavoured. Just show them the view. Pizza flavoured crisps. And this is our view. So, yeah, not bad. Kyoto Station right across the road for us. So we are going to rest for a while and then figure out what we're going to do later. So we've had a couple of hours rest and we're off to the Gion or Gion. I don't know how you pronounce Gion. it. Gion. Gion. Gion, Gion, Gion. We're off to that district. Um, so we're actually walking there. 
hopefully the rain stopped. It's a 37 minute walk, so it's a pretty long walk, especially if it rains, so I'm hoping the rain is off when we get outside. But maybe it just becomes busier like later on in the night, like 11 o'clock or so. But it's a nice area, it looks nice so far. Nice quiet streets with lots of lanterns and things. So we're just going to look for somewhere so we can get some grub and a drink, possibly. Look how pretty this street is. We have to admit that we ended up in McDonald's again. Just we were so hungry that we didn't want to stroll around and look for somewhere. We're going to go into a bar called Alchemist. So we'll see what that's No, about. no, no. <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh, that's quite. Thank you. Oh, this bar's cool, eh? Cracker of the handmaids, and we are making it daily. Ah, yep. Thank nice. you. You're welcome. So we've just been given um, a welcome drink of onion soup <laughs> and a cracker with apple. It's very. It sounds. It looks very posh in here. So we'll see how we order some cocktails. I don't know what we're getting, but it's got vodka in it because that's what we asked for. Oh. <laughs> Just making it. I've got Japanese pear and vodka in my drink. That was a taste. It's good. <laughs> it's quite thick as well, so it takes away all the drink, which is good. Because I'm not. Oh. Because I'm only brushing my hair. Mine's nearly gone, but I had red grape, fresh red grape, and vodka. How cute is he? Some more cocktails on the way. Mm -hmm. We got another cocktail. This one's got vodka and bitters and sours and ginger. ginger. And, and a lime. It's really fresh. Mm. So Michelle's got her cocktail. What have you got? Oh, it smells good. I can smell it from here. Mm. Adam's going to the bathroom. <laughs> he got it right away. <laughs> that bar was so cool. <coughs> Just hidden doorways for drink and stuff on the shelves. I really didn't believe the toilets were behind this shelving unit. Um, it was so cool. The cocktails were freshly made and they weren't too badly priced. There was a good atmosphere and the staff were all friendly as well. Give it a big thumbs up. Five out of five. Well, we're back in our hotel room and it's goodbye for today. Our last day in Japan tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. We've got so much planned. Michelle can't wait for tomorrow. So join us then for more fun. Bye.